Time to mezzy around in Vampire Survivors Brat Fang style. New stage, Hectic Highway. We're gonna firearm it up and show everyone out what fire arm can do. Especially when it turns into fire legs at a higher level. And then we'll also see how Vampire Survivors guns go. Oh, it's already at three. It's not bad. Da, 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 da. Yes, get a tractor so I can level up faster. I already know what my passes are going to be because this is not my first attempt because Stalker is still bad. Losing this skill to one thing. 100% win loss condition is bad if it shows up due to sheer randomness. Alright, time to go fast, time to go hard. Seriously, why do you actually move slower here? It's weird. Well, I could have grabbed that spinach. Would have been very, well, not really helpful at all here, but that's for later. Max out the gun to try and get fire legs as a sapping. Eh, better. Oh no, empty. It, it took it over to Rona's box. That's bad. And again. I really want that evolution, it seems. Oh, maxed out. That's excellent. Alright. Now just sneak around this boss and then, you know. Have a grenade show up and blow it up. That figures. And now Turner's box will require me to blow all every single one of my reloads to find, I bet. So that's just how it goes. Oh, no. That was pretty quick, all things considered. Which is not a good sign for whatever's coming up. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> it's kind of funny because on the first try this wave here was actually pretty annoying because I didn't have empty tome. So they were getting close. But now, because I have empty tome, they're just getting burned down. Alright, I've looped. So let's stick to the bottom because that's where the chest is. Yeah, with the track orb at max, you can just... Go to either side and get all the gems. It's good. Oh god, the Pino is going to be so slow on this. And I have to do it eventually. Right, this is fire legs. Unbelievable. Well, let's hope Brad's Fang's power is absolute. Oh, the boss didn't die instantly. That's never a good sign. I mean, it's fine for now, but when it gets to the dang walkers, I really was not expecting to have to do four videos for Hectic Highway for Brad Fang. Good grief. Suppose that's what I get for, you know, having Lucia Zero with no trouble. What? Well, no, she did have trouble. Because I evolved. But I didn't mean to evolve. And he had like five duration levels too. So the fire wave was just so endless. Like more endless than what you were seeing. Because apparently the barrels and the exploding cars count as light sources to spawn another wave. So that's what's what's happening here. Hits one and then bounces back and then probably hits another. Oh, right. I should rush forward to try and grab that. And since I have cursed, it's not like I need area. It's hitting the whole map anyway. Oh, there's our Kana boss. No, oh, we're... Dang it. Strangely, they get knocked back less, which means they actually die faster. So that was... Wait, when did I pick random always? Huh, I must have panic hit it. 
Oh, there goes my armadillo. Man, if they're getting in this close, it's going to be so much worse. Wow, it already blooped? That's incredibly fast. All right, let's rush it down and probably grab the beginning. Slow my roll. Oh, are you kidding me? Well, this is off to a very bad start. I suppose that's what I get for having to take off random events just so Stalker doesn't end me again. Yeah. I mean, I think it's actually disabled for Carlo Kart, so it might be feasible. I don't remember getting it. Then again, I've done Carlo Kart like a few times compared to, well, closing in on 12 for Hectic Highway. Oh, there was another chest. Oh, Barry protected me that time. Oh man, it's so hard to tell. Wish the arrows were aligned with what lane they were in ahead of time so you can actually plan for it. Smart person would go mention that in the Discord. See if I can get fixed. Smart people don't play the Biswick. Or they don't play in the way I'm doing it. They just go co-op and run it down that way. Oh. I'm not even going to get the Arcana chest. Oh, I did. Barely. Nothing else boosts it, right? Just the beginning. And, well, I do enjoy more fire. All right, now, hope I pull out an Armadillo. Probably looking for a Tirajisu. That's probably a good call. I mean, Spellbinder also. It does get duration. Oh, is that the other Arcana? Engine car thing? Arcana bad. Car form. I'll go with that. Yep, there it is. Which means it will be inevitably dropping the chest behind me. I don't even know what's spawning behind me in that giant blob. Oh no, it wasn't an enemy. It was the weird circle effect. Oh, and I blew through more chests. Man, it's taking up basically the whole screen and still not really doing much. Okay, maybe... Dang it, open for the armadillo. Man, there's so much health. Yeah, the dang long leg things are gonna kill me. There's no chance to survive. Hmm. Wait, what? I mean, do I just have enough levels to power through this? I mean, the mechas can get in. Hmm. They're slowly getting in. If I had a wake, I might be more considerate about feasibility of surviving. Okay, I think one of the chests is at the bottom. It probably was. Oh, is that a vacuum? Oh, not that it's all that helpful, but... There it is. I basically have to go like this. Okay, there's my Awakened. Alright, might just barely be able to pull this off. On account of that bad good luck. Hey, is it 16 or 17 that they spawn in? Oh man, the metal dragons. 
are not getting stopped at all. Their wings have been burned. Here we go. Nope, not yet. This is like the last real fodder wave. Yep, there's the mecha boss, and then at 17, it's the, the walkers. You'd think after playing it so many times in a row, I'd notice, but... Now, let's see. Burninating the countryside. Gotta get that Trogor reference in. Good. Does anybody who watches this even know what Trogor is? Oh, wow. He's actually strong enough to punch, push them back and annihilate them. God, Bill and Lance are so weak. It's incredible. I mean, yeah, other weapons, but for solo weapons, long gun and short gun are really bad. Everything else has been pretty, well, spread shot. Barely made it through, but seat proton beam and this are very strong. Well, let's, I guess we'll be seeing how strong Firearm itself is when I head to Capella Mag. No, no. Youch. Taka's getting in. Okay, now you're stuck in the dragnet. Man, I missed basically every single chest in an IGs. Oh, there goes another one. He's just barely getting pushed out of range from the sheer number of flames going on. Alright, no way they're punching through five revives. Well, I wasn't expecting it to win after that Tronus box nightmare. And all the other nightmares, but Brad Fang has done it. He has successfully conquered the Hectic Highway. Of course, I had to turn off Stalker, but Stalker is really dumb. 51.6 million, that's one of the best scores so far for this, isn't it? Alrighty. Right. Alright, time for more Vampire Survivors. Brad Fang. Capella. Oh, well. Capella Magna. Eh. Yeah. And I'm not sure this is actually possible. Firearm does not get any pierce on its limit break. Most of the run, that really doesn't matter, but when you get to the Final, actually deadly rounds. Well, it tends to matter quite a bit. Oh. So, that means there's ultimately a pretty dangerous limit. Well, or nothing else to really grab. Yeah, Spellbinder doesn't really affect this at all. Speed doesn't matter. Everything's going to be within your face immediately. Heck, I don't even really want Candelabra to wear, but need it for the evolution. Duplicator's on the map. I might as well get the health. But, yeah, I don't think Brad can actually beat this with Firearm. The enemies eventually get too durable, and there's no pierce on it through Limit Break. So it can't deal with their numbers. Because it doesn't one-shot. If it one-shot it, it might be possible. But that requires... Probably Divine Bloodline levels of Might, which isn't really feasible. Oh, right, I also could have checked its passive, see if that helped, but why would I? You just look at how many shots of fire he's shooting out and know that it was even more beefy by the time I got to the end. It still was not remotely enough. Sure, the Atlantean was chasing me, causing some issues, but... Still. Bone Tower. Oh, I have all my passes. I should run up to... Well, I hope that grabbing Crown and maybe Tear Jisoo first would be more effective than Duplicator. In fact, I should have grabbed them first before the Metaglio. In fact, 
I don't even need to go for Silver Ring area. It isn't really going to be that much help. And duration isn't at all. And that could be 4.5% more might. Well, if that doesn't do all that much outright might damage. Well, maybe if I got some really good random events, I could have made it. But I forgot to turn it back on, too. Go figure, eh? Go figure. I thought I could... I didn't even get to the second Arcana chest, too. And that's just how it goes sometimes, but... This is mostly just another test to see if it's even feasible. Grab beginning as the first Arcana chest, so I'll see if Awake would be better. You know, seven revives? Probably not. Nah, that chest was way back here. <coughs> Oh, I'm wondering where that cough came from. Crown. A oh, barrier. Brown. Yeah, I need to level up as fast as possible, get as much might as possible. Its speed is worthless, area is worthless. Well. Cla Character area is not useless because of Heart of Fire, but it is useless for the firearm because it does not pierce. And it will never pierce, so first hit's always the last hit. Doesn't really matter otherwise. Oh, might as well get all the XP. Should be leveling up like mad now. Should then focus on damage and then whatever's left at the end. Well, back to Rona's box and then whatever's left at the end behind it. Okay, it's one-shotting the bats now at least. My options are pretty limited. Lucia could at least go see laser. Or Boogle of Illusions with a sea laser because it would get a benefit of that, but firearm doesn't. Sure, it's bigger, but it'll still disintegrate each pyre on the first target hit. Yeah, just watch it go up on those bats and do nothing. And I can't create Turkey Fort. Alright, I just know there's going to be a chiss that's going to give me max curse. Fire legs could do it. Hectic Highway, probably comparable in difficulty to this. I gotta get the level before I risk a chest coming up from either the eyeball or that. Man, it never seems to level up as fast as you'd think. Bye bye, Tornus Box. I guess I gotta wait it for these for Armadillo, but I want the might on firearm as soon as possible. After that, Awake is my only source of might. And the ones before the big demons weren't going down and one hit, and the big demons themselves. Maybe if I'd gotten to stage killers, I could have survived. But that did not happen. Please be recording. Okay, good. I don't want to just start in nine minutes into a stage, five minutes after I started playing. Ryan. Okay, duplicator. That's effectively my damage maxed out until I die. But Brad Fang never dies in our hearts. I mean, area is still better than not. Then speed is basically pointless. Alright, hopefully this is enough. Oh, that was a bunch of stuff at once. What am I going to want from this? Armadillo, I eventually get 
from Candy Bucks. Uh, what's yeah, his duration is fine. I don't know why it feels like the Aura Logians last no time at all. Even with Spellbinder, it felt like it lasted no time. Because I thought I was getting Fire Legs, which actually was beneficial from Spellbinder, because it means the Fire Waves last longer. Uh, of course, Stalker. Oh, actually, it'd probably be faster to loop around to the Rosaries to take care of you. One in it. I'm on level with them. Oh, that was lucky. Nope. Nope. Get away from me. Stay on screen. Oh. No, you're just barely on screen. Down is closer. Yeah, that was a good use of a rosary. All right, and time to awaken, which is my last power spike. Possible power spike, well, I guess the only other arcana that would be effective is beginning. And that's, you know, three more hits of decent damage, but still... Well, I could always get very lucky with random events. That could save me. Or doom me with Starburst. Uh, I know exactly what's going to happen. I'm going to have to stand still. Wow. All these red dudes. I'm going to have to stand still to survive the later waves. And a Starburst is going to happen. I'm going to have to run into dudes or get Starbursted down. It probably better get starbursted, right? Am I burning again? No, I'm not NFT. Buy your Brad Fang NFT today. Only ninety nine ninety nine. Did not Doctor Nick ever come back to life? I mean, I'm pretty sure he did. He's no Larry the Butterfly to be killed off for petty drama. His drama must be big and bold and fantastic. Oh man, if even these guys are getting in at 15, it's not a good sign for later. Man, it keeps feeling like I have NFT popping. I mean, if I stand still, it's fine, and they give me all the XP to level up I need, but... I mean, is the Metaglio even worth it? it is, I mean, it's more health. Their generation's pointless, but... Oh, Candy Box showed up. Nice random event. Thank you. Slowly make my way up. Armadillo! Let's see, what of these are helpful? Armor. Literally only armor. So with seven revives, I will pop up to a total of 16 armor. Which in a sane land would basically be invincible at the end. Plus 662 health and seven revives. That's about 2700 health overall. The enemies are really, really durable. And they hit for a lot. I need to just get some XP to max out the armor. Boy, it feels like I'm leveling up way slower than I should. Ooh, NFT. Now I can use this to just charge on through them and tag the left. Get some other XP on the side. Good, good, good. 
If I win, it's only because random events giving me endless NFTs. Like with Christine and Solo Pentagram. The nightmare that never ended until it did. Oh, oh that way for random event. Wait, did I get hit? Oh, right armor. Can't tell if I got hit. Oh, it's so hard to tell. This is random event, right? I don't... They didn't spawn bats at this time last time. Maybe it's a stage event? Sometimes weird things like that can happen. Basically the old bases of certain things. Oh, hey, a mount one. Finally. Got so much pierce for other weapons. Yep. Okay, big horn demons. And... Well, if I stay still, it looks like they're not getting in all that often. Nope, still getting in. Uh-oh. Oh, well, there's the life of number one down. Good thing I grabbed a wake early. Hey, a barrier. There's our Kana eyeball. Now need area. Great, they're getting pushed in by the fodder ghosts. What a silly circumstance that is. Okay, yeah, stage killers are much less dangerous. Wow, that one behind me just lasted so long. Oh, this is my chance. If I can get the Atlantean heavy NFT, it might just be enough damage to save me. Wipe them out. Protect me that way. Oh, man. Is he going to... No, he... Barely lost. Good, good. Brad Fang. Brad Fang might actually be able to do this. Yeah, Brad Fang. Get that health regeneration, Brad Fang. This isn't even for any... Wait. Dang it. Was in the Capel Magna or the Hectic Highway video? I just like saying Brad Fang. Brad Fang strong. Well, I think this is how he lives or dies, standing still in this section of whatever the map is. Oh, they are conscious. And that's maxed out. Time for the beginning of the end. All right, that's about as powerful as he's going to get. Well, effectively powerful. Half a might isn't much. It's only 18%. That's if I got it every level, which I didn't. But I don't really have a choice. Okay, it's good, good. They're not getting in. In fact, they're getting hit back really hard. You know, the horny... The horned big red demons are really... Durable and strong, but eh. Oh, well, luck wave. Uh oh, that boss is dangerous. Oh, I can't even see it. Oh, hey, chicken. Nice. I'm taking some damage. Better than letting the boss run into me, though. Wait, why was there a level up storm? There's no way I wasn't absorbing enough gems. Oh, another chicken. Nice. Wow, Brad has over a thousand health. With... Yes, NFT. I can burn you down with this like I did the Atlantean. Now nothing will stop him. Well, granted, I was mostly held up by the power of random events and luck, but hey. 
My talk about this being impossible may have turned out to be wrong. Well, if you're listening to this, then it definitely was wrong, because I'm not posting a video where I failed in second wave. Unless it's in spectacular fashion. Probably wouldn't be. Uh-oh. Oh, no. The NFT Cyclone isn't taking him out fast. Firearm. Save me, might. Wow. What a concentrated firepower. They're going to have a really hard time getting in because all the weaker stuff is up front. Getting slowly beat back. Did I just have enough armor to tank it all? Eesh. This is strange. I think they're all getting stuck on each other or something. So they're not. It doesn't look like they're hitting me. Yeah, that figures. Oh, wait. Also, I have a thousand health. So even if they are hitting me, it's a very tiny amount on the bar. Well, well, we're Logan to victory. Wasn't expecting that. But, uh, yeah, Brad Fang just conquered Capella Magna. I did not think it would actually have been possible with the full setup, but I should not have underestimated my man, Brad Fang. Oh, well, I want to grab all those power-ups. Oh, they're Red Reapers in the end. Ha 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 ha. Oh, hey, Ron never showed up, did he? Weird. 40 million on the dot with the firearm. Really kind of not worth it. Fire legs is way better. If I had Pierce, it might be an option. I mean, it would still be worse, but hey, it would fire out faster and be comparable. I think as it is, Spreadshot is the only one so far that you can make a real... Da -da 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 case for being an option over prototype c prototype c is still better but the pierce prototype c doesn't seem to get pierce if it does then yeah it's definitely better there's no point not evolving except for dumb gimmick runs like this and let's see who's next it's brownie oh boy oh boy <laughs> Okay, and it took a bit of effort and some luck, but Brad Fang has given us two more strong victories. Brad Fang, go. Anyway, next up's going to be Brownie. That one should be a lot more torture. Oh, boy. Thank you for watching. I appreciate anyone who wants to like, dislike, comment, or subscribe. No matter what you do, have a good day and keep messing around in the Vampire Survivor's Beswick.